and can it be even quicker on the ground and even taller? Okay, like me trying to convince my girlfriend I'm over six foot. Do your best. Move out of my way, I'm coming through like a bulldozer, ayy. Hey, who came to play? Got a whole squad full of soldiers, ayy. Hey, ooh, you're making my day. I love when they run from me. They don't want one on one with me. I'm bringing the smoke to your house, get it sizzling. Yeah. Hot, 32 degree heat. SPF needed for tiny little lips. <laughs> Going to three Olympics, you don't ever think of as a child, let alone go into one, let alone three. So to represent Great Britain or your country in, in three Olympics is something that you will, yeah, m treasure the moments forever. Get those hammies warm. If you had told me that several years ago that I'd be going to Olympics, I'd be pretty shocked. And then to be able to, yeah, and then for you to tell me then I'd be captain one. Yeah, definitely would not have believed you then. <laughs> Scott, you need your warm up. You need more than that, the boy. Maybe some spike balls for some ankle mobility. I definitely didn't realise it come down from a games. I think it's not spoken about enough. Um, so I think coming forth was really hard mentally because you're so close to a medal. But then coming home from that as well, I really struggled mentally. Just reading any messages, like people just saying they were proud of me. I couldn't even read. Oh. I've lost my dynamism. Oh, yeah. This is dynamism. Every day, every moment you have, do it with a smile on your face. And I definitely took for granted in Rio that I was like, oh, God, in 10 days' time, it's going to be over. I'm going to have to go back to reality. But I've definitely learned a lot from that. And yes, within the eight years leading into to Paris, that it is just be present and enjoy the exact moment you're in with your, your best friends. Keep going, Grace, all the way oh, yes, through. Man. All the way through. Was I have or else? Four. Nice. nice. Grace, what did that feel like? <laughs> Nine three three. Yes, Charles. Emma is an annoying little human. She's captain, but she cannot make a decision to save her life. Like, what kit are we wearing? Oh, I don't know. No, oh, she's the worst. <laughs> It's just the opposite to me in decision making. She knows what she wants and she's just like, no, she doesn't even sometimes know. She just goes, yep, doing that. No, but Jazz is um, one of the loveliest, caring yeah, Jazz, like, people that I've ever met. Really wants to know everything about you, um, but once she has your back, um, you know that she'll always be in your corner no matter what. Right, so I have I my rings and my earrings. They go straight on after training. Um, and then we've got this cute little GB with my initials on it, bracelet, and an anklet. Uh, actually, this was a birthday gift from Jay Sheckles. Jay Sheckles. Oh, well, on the pitch, I mean, she's an absolute joke. She's definitely one of the most powerful players we, we have, and definitely glad I'm on the same pitch as her. I hate these. And uh, time. This group is ge a genuine like group, and actually, I believe that everyone can be themselves here. There's been times I'm like, oh, I'm done with rugby, go away. But something keeps dragging me back, so I think ultimately it is the love of the game and the camaraderie that you get. Their family like will probably be friends for life. It check us down. You want to be the fittest, fastest you can, you can be, and, and sevens is very humbling game. So you, you don't get sessions, you don't get picked, you don't play well. I'm bringing the smoke to your house. Let me say it most simply. The back of your throat. <laughs> no, it's the biggest one is we spend so much time together. You spend every minute together, and actually they become your best friends. Like you find people here that are like the people hit right here, and the group that I have now are going to be my best mates for life. And I've never really been in that situation before where I'm like, "Are well, you stuck with me now?" <laughs> like, sorry, you're not getting rid of me. That's what it is. Just be present and enjoy every single thing that comes your way, whether it's going to make you sad, whether it's going to make you happy. You're never going to forget these memories, especially coming to Olympic Games. So 
just yeah, take everything with a pinch of salt and something sad, brush it away. <laughs>